Okay, I'm gonna try to film this without crying and I don't necessarily want to film this, but I think that it's really important to show all sides of cancer because a lot of times I show my strength and I show that I can handle anything that comes my way, but today I'm really upset. I just had my pre-op appointment with my plastic surgeon. And last week I had the pre-op appointment with my breast surgeon, so I have two surgeons. This entire time I have my I have my double mastectomy scheduled for April 24th, okay? And I have mentally been pre preparing for that. Everything that comes with cancer, you have to mentally prepare for. And when you get thrown for a loop, it just kind of like makes everything else disintegrate because it, everything is a grieving process. Last week when I met with my surgeon, they had spoke with my plastic surgeon and the plastic surgeon I hadn't met with in person yet. I just met with her virtually. And she had put down that it was not a nipple saving surgery. Even though this entire time during cancer, I have stated that I wanted to save my nipples. I'm 33 years old. Of course I want to save my nipples. Like some people don't care and they want to remove everything, but like I want to save mine. And I have met with my surgeon plenty of times. So when she said that, I was like, no, I want to save my nipples. The PA was like, well, that is two separate surgeries. And I was like, what do you mean? She's like, there's a nipple delay surgery and then there's the double mastectomy. The nipple delay surgery, they go in and they separate your nipple from the breast tissue. Essentially what that does is to try to keep the nipple from, prevent the nipple from dying and to keep, make sure that it stays alive. Then 10 to 14 days later, they go in and then they do the full double mastectomy. But the, that it has given the nipple time to basically survive that trauma and get blood flow to it. I had no idea what a nipple delay surgery was. No one had ever explained that to me. And so when I heard this, I was like, what do you mean now I have to do two surgeries? Now this adds two extra weeks onto my recovery. And I'm a trainer. I need my body for work. I've already just felt like I've barely been working. And I, it, it's good for me right now, but it's like, this is just taking everything from me. Cancer's taking everything. It's taking my body. It's taking my work. It's taking my purpose. It's taking a lot. And so it was just all of that sinking in. And then they told me that even though I'm doing the nipple delay surgery, it's not going to guarantee that they can actually save my nipple because my cancer is close to my nipple. They have to send when they go in for the nipple delay they're going to also take out a couple lymph nodes because it's spread to my lymph nodes from there they're going to send my lymphs and they're going to send the tissue that's close to the nipple to pathology if pathology says that it's clear then i can save the nipple if not then i can't and the same with the lymph nodes if they say that um there is no her2 positive um uh, like cancer in there then i won't have to do radiation and they won't have to take out more lymph nodes. But if there is still active cancer in there, they're gonna have to take out more lymph nodes and I'm probably gonna have to do radiation. So, so much is up in the air. So I met with my, I met with the PA for my plastic surgeon today because I was irritated about the miscommunication and my surgeon was like, we want you to be able to see someone to get the process moving because otherwise I'm not gonna be able to see my doctor until a few days before surgery. So I went there, they took photos, they took measurements, and they were explaining the nipple delay surgery. And then they were also explaining the fact that I might have my expanders in for anywhere up to a year, which I was expecting like six months. They said that they're fighting for operating room at Cedars Hospital with other doctors. And so there's that delay. If I have to do radiation, radiation doesn't start for four to six weeks post-surgery after I've healed from surgery and then they can't do they can't put the implant in until six to eight months after that so that's close to a year so there's so many things that are up in the air so I didn't know that I was going to have to have these expanders for so long and then they also said that I can't work out for two full months fully like month two I can do lower body stuff but I can't do any upper body movements and like I'm a trainer for Amazon, Halo. I'm a trainer for Pop Sugar. I'm a trainer in general, and I am 33 years old. And this is supposed to be the prime of my life. This is supposed to be the peak of my career. This is supposed to be when I'm dating. And 
I can't have any of that right now. My life is essentially on hold. And I know that there's some people who are like, you should be grateful that you're alive. You should be grateful that they're saving you, which I am, but it doesn't take away from the fact that my life has come to a complete halt. And it's different. There's women who are going through this who are later in life. They've had their kids. They've had their life. And it doesn't make this any easier. I'm not taking away from them either. But it, we're at different stages in life. And it's so different because I use my body for my career. And a lot of people don't understand that. That this not only took my body, but it's taking so much of my, so much more of my life. And everyone has their things with cancer and everyone has their things that makes it different than me, but this is really hard to process and I'm doing my best. But it stays like this where I'm just like, why is this happening? I just, I just want to live a normal life and I want to like go back and do the things that I should be doing at 33. This is really, really hard and really unfair. And even though I know that there's a purpose, it's like, I can't see it right now. To me, it feels like so much is falling away. So yeah, this is all so much stuff I have to process. And I say that so much is temporary. Everything is temporary and this is temporary too. And this too will pass, but it's like I have to go through it before it can pass. I have to go through the surgeries and the recoveries. If they're not working and the, all this stuff, I have to go through it. So that's an update and yeah. Hope the next update is a lot more positive. Thanks for listening. Bye.